While the holidays are winding down, a new Yule season is just kicking off at Uplands Golf Course. It's a respectable speed for tournament play. Superintendent Brian Yule has a huge course to maintain, and now he has a big reputation to uphold, as Brian was named Canada's top golf superintendent for 2012. The uh, president of the Canadian Golf Course Superintendents called me and said uh, we reviewed all the nominees and you were unanimously picked, which is a, a rarity and it means a lot. When I look at the people that have won this award in past, many have been my mentors. What makes the award unique is you have to be nominated by your peers. So each provincial association, and in our case British Columbia Golf Superintendents, put together a nomination package uh, for Brian Newell because he's truly someone that we all look up to. These two met together on the golf course working for me, now they're living together. Ewell has been with Uplands for over 30 years and beat out supers from over 3,000 Canadian courses to win the prestigious award. So proud of uh, what Brian's accomplished uh, with this achievement and every day. Uh, 30 years, Uplands Golf Club, the membership, uh, have been thrilled with the job that Brian Ewell delivers. Oh, deservedly so. He was out cutting the grass yesterday on his own at 3.30 in the afternoon. Are you kidding? Yeah. Yes, so he's always dedicated. But the accolades don't end there for Ewell and his staff. Canadian Tour professionals voted Uplands the best course on tour for the amazing conditions at the TC Open. The pros also voted Uplands for having the best greens of the year and Victoria as the best host city. I don't think it's ever been a triple crown, we'll say, to win all three awards. So that was such an honor. And, you know, they come here and they say, wow, this looks pretty easy. And they show up and, uh, you know, we barely make double digits for the final score. The tour players love the job that Brian and the team deliver uh, to the course conditions. They put their heart into it and it shows. But despite the glowing reviews, there were some dark days for Yule. Two years ago, Brian was hit in the head with a golf ball and battled through depression with help from friends and constant treatment at the Valentis Clinic. It was uh, definitely a challenge to get out of bed every day and to act normal that everything was okay and you know I was fighting a battle inside that I I was not winning. So just for, to see where we were to where we are now. The sleep is a lot better now. I can get a good solid night's sleep. Yule will be in Toronto later this month to accept the Superintendent of the Year Award and from his life to the golf course Brian proves that a little maintenance goes a long way. I feel so fortunate to have the career uh, that I've had. If you walk a day in my shoes, you know I'd be a, a very, very lucky man.